be cute, be handsome, wearing the light, loose clothing now. <laughs> That's right. Um, but first put on your sunblock, then put your light, loose clothing on, get your bags ready for your, um, carrying your water, um, then avoiding being exhausted. Let's talk about that because I got some seniors that I just see them walking all across Carlson Beach, yep. the beach out there in Dorchester. I see them all out there all day long. Yeah, so, so exercise is a good thing. We love exercise, we recommend it, and we don't think you should stop doing it just because it gets warm out. But like I said at the very beginning of the discussion, you want to give yourself time to acclimate mm -hmm. to exercising in the hot weather. So because it's gotten very hot very quickly, you might want to cut back on your activity, whatever that may be, whether it's walking or it's swimming or bicycling or whatever you do. Um, you want to cut back a little bit in the, in the hotter weather and gradually work up to your normal amount. And again, if at all possible, stay out of the hot time. So, you know, if you normally go walking between 11 and 12, you know, right before lunch, See if you can't adjust your schedule so that you walk between 7 and 8 in the morning. And that will help considerably. Same thing with shifting it to the evening hours. So we, we want people to, to continue exercising, but just to do it cautiously and carefully. Anything that's above 85 degrees, we want people to be very vigilant about reducing the amount of time that they're outside. Because you know, as it gets hotter out, it gets... Uh, more difficult to stay cool in that hot temperature, regardless of what time it is in the morning or in the evening. Um, we definitely want people to be aware of the humidity because that um, changes the way your body can cool itself. So if it's 85 degrees, but it's a very dry day, you watch the weather report and they say it's very low humidity, it will feel more comfortable on your skin because when we sweat, the cool air goes over our bodies, and it allows the heat to get carried away. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why cool, dry air is nice for us. As the humidity rises, we are not able to dissipate heat because the water just sits there, as opposed to being carried away, and we get much hotter. So the exact same temperatures in high humidity is far more dangerous than, than, than in low humidity, and that's something to be very aware of. 